Hi everyone, Janie here for Garden Design. Today I wanted to talk to you all about a wonderful plant that brings such wonderful memories. Every time I walk by it, I smell it or I feel it, and that is lamb's ear. I have vivid memories as a child of not being able to walk by my neighbor's gardens that had lamb's ear without reaching out and touching the fuzzy leaves. Now as an adult and an avid gardener, I still love touching the fuzzy leaves but I also recognize what a fantastic plant it is for gardens, specifically gardens in my climate where we are hot and we are dry. Now I love lamb's ear silver carpet. It is beautiful, it's a wonderful ground cover, but I do have to say my hands down favorite variety of lamb's ear is actually this one right here. This is just one spot in my garden that I have it. I have it all over my garden. This is called Stacky's Byzantine Tina, Big Ears, or Helen Von Stein Lamb's Ear. As you can see here in this patch of Helen Von Stein Lamb's Ear that I have in my side yard, Helen Von Stein Lamb's Ear still has that soft, fuzzy, silvery green foliage like other kinds of lamb's ear, but this kind has big leaves, almost the size of my hand, actually bigger than the size of my hand. Here you can see in my front garden, another couple patches I have of this Helen Von Stein lamb's ear. I love the mounded form of this plant, and I also love how much it pops in contrast to other foliage that I have here. It is just an addition that I don't think I could live without in my garden. Not only is it beautiful in my garden, but it really is an easy plant. It's one of those set it and forget it plants that I love because I really do not have to think about it all season long. Helen von Stein lamb's ear is a perennial. That means it comes back each year. So you can keep this plant in your garden for years to come. It's hardy in zones four through nine, and it really does have almost year round interest for me here in Northern California. The only season that I don't love it is the rainy season because the fuzzy leaves can rot if they get too much water. So if you live in an area that is very wet, you get a lot of rain, this might not be the plant for you. However, if you live in a drier area or even an area that deals like drought, like I do here in California, this plant is absolutely perfect. Helen von Stein lamb's ear is full sun to part sun. I love this plant because I feel like I can basically put it anywhere in my garden and it is going to thrive. It is obviously a lot happier in more sun, but you can see over in my side garden here, it does get quite a bit of shade and it is still happy as a clam. It is not fussy about soil pH at all. It can take acidic soil all the way up to alkaline soil, although I'm sure it's a bit happier in neutral soil. Helen von Stein lamb's ear also does not like rich, fertile soil. So that means it's going to be happy in that spot in your garden where other things just don't grow very well. That also means this is not a plant that you want to fertilize. I never fertilize my lambs here in my garden. This plant does spread. If the stems touch the soil, it will root out. It also will spread if you allow it to flower and let the flowers go to seed. And it's in an area where it would like to spread. So just be aware of that. Whenever my Helen von Stein lamb's ear sends up a bloom stalk, I don't really love the bloom stalks. I don't love how the flowers look. So I just trim them off. It's very easy. And I really focus on the foliage of this plant. Now, about every two to four years, you're probably going to have to divide this plant. Since it's a perennial, it will kind of spread and you might get some bare spots. But the upside to this is it does propagate by division. So when you divide these plants, you are going to have more and more Helen von Stein lamb's ear in your garden. That is how I got so many patches of lamb's ear in my garden. They all came from just a few plants and I've been dividing them and spreading them around. This plant gets 8 to 12 inches tall and 18 to 24 inches wide. But with the spreading nature of this plant, and I find if it's really happy in your garden, it almost seems like it gets even bigger than that. 
Helen von Steinlands here is a drought tolerant plant. That means that this plant is going to be able to handle times of drought or times when it doesn't get as much water as it might need. However, despite being a drought tolerant plant, I still like to hook my Helen von Steinlands here up onto my drip irrigation so it gets regular watering. I think that it looks a little bit better when it gets just enough moisture, but not too much. So I think you all can see why I love Helen Helen von Stein lambs here so much in my garden. It is a plant that I lean heavily on. And when I go to friends or family's houses to help them with their garden, I also lean heavily on this plant because it is such a no fuss plant. So hopefully this will inspire all of you to try out Helen von Stein lambs here in your own garden. And I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.